Welcome sa sip9.com In this video ay uh, pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba mag-factor no? by grouping So uh, kung napanood nyo yung mga previous videos natin ay uh, uh, nag-aaral lang tayo nito no? So this is our sixth example in fact no? Doon sa first part natin is by uh, factoring uh, yung uh, monomial factor no? Or factoring polynomials with the common monomial factor And then meron tayong factoring by grouping And this is the second part of uh, factoring by grouping. No? So, let's have our uh, example 6. What is PC? Oh, oh factor uh, PC minus 3B minus 5C plus 15. So, kung makikita natin, uh, pwede natin i-group ito, no? So, this is equal to PC minus 3B. No? We can group by just putting the parentheses. Uh, 5C minus 15. Bakit siya naging minus? Eh, plus siya dito. So, kasi pag nag minus 5C ako dito, pag ako ay nag-distribute, magbabalik siya sa plus. No? So, pag nag plus ito, magiging minus may iba yung given. So, minus saka minus plus 15. So, here, we have common factor, yung B. So, pwede natin i-factor out. Labas natin sa parenthesis. We have B. Ang matitira na lang dito is C. Minus, pag tinanggal natin to 3 na lang matitira dito. And then here, 5 at saka 15, anong common? Ang common nila ay 5. May C dito para wala dito. So, hindi kasama yung C. So, 5 lang ang common at ang matitira dito is C o 5C and then minus 15 divided by 5 is 3 so pag binalik mo yan maging 5C maging minus 5C plus 15 kasi yung negative yung 5 tapos negative yung 3 ok so again if we have something like this pareho sila diba so pwede mo natin palitan nya no so we, have, we can have this is the same as B uh bx for example plus or sorry bx minus 5x so yung c natin ay c minus 3 natin pinalitan natin ng x para madali makita no? and from here kitang kita natin na pwede natin ilabas yung x no? factor out yung x which is equal, equal to x times quantity b minus 5. But again, yung x natin dito is equal to c minus 3. So, pwede na natin palitan kasi nalabas na natin siya magiging c minus 3 times quantity b minus 5. Again, dapat nakaparentis sila pareho kasi pag walang parentis, itong unang term, hindi siya binomial by uh, binomial, no? It's not a multiplication of binomial by binomial, kundi 3 lang yung i-distribute mo dito. So, dapat importante na naka-parenthesis pareho. Okay? So, number 7. Yung number 7, medyo mahirap siya, no? We have... Uh, sa dali, nawawala yata yung ating number 7. Uh, sandali lang, ano? Uh, tingnan natin yung ating given dito. Mawala yung aking given. Okay, so, nandito na. So, we have 8a squared b cubed 8a squared b cubed minus 16 a squared b y squared minus 6x cubed b squared plus 12 x cubed y squared. So, factor din yan, no? Factor. Factor this uh, polynomial. So, double check ko lang, ha? Baka mali yung ating given. Hindi natin siya ma-factor. Masayang yung tayo natin. Minus 16 a squared b y squared minus 6 x cubed b squared plus 12 x cubed y squared. Okay? So, Again, pwede tayong mag-group, no? So, 
Uh, may mga A squared naman, may common naman sa mga to. So, pwede itong dalawang to i-group. So, pwede natin i-group. Try natin. No? By the way, minsan kailangan nyo mag-rearrange ng term. No? Minsan ito, i-group mo dito. So, depende. Tingnan nyo rin kung uh, alin ba yung may mga common terms. So, for example, ito, hindi mo siya pwede uh, Pwede rin pala. Pwede rin pala natin siya i-group dito. Pero mas marami kasing common dito. No? Merong A tsaka B, merong A tsaka B. Mas maraming common dito sa dalawang to. Kaya mas okay siya i-group. So, we have 8a squared b cubed minus 16a squared b y squared. So, i-group natin by putting the putting parenthesis, no? Minus 6x uh, cubed b squared plus, oh, this is not plus, this is already minus. Nakatulad nito dito, no? So, kasi mag, uh, pag nag-minus ka, pag nag-multiply ka sa lab, magiging plus, minus tsaka minus. So, minus uh, 12x cubed y squared, no? Okay, ano mo pwedeng i-factor out? Yung 8 at saka 16, pwede syempre ang 8 kasi magiging 8, 8 times 1, tapos 8 times 2, no? Yung a squared, mayroon tayo pareho, so pwede natin i-factor out. Yung b cubed saka b, ang common sa kanila is b. Wala na, walang y, no? So, hindi natin siya pwedeng i-factor out. So, anong matitira? 8, 8, A squared, B cubed, tsaka B. So, meron pa matitirang B squared, di ba? So, B cubed divided by B is B squared. Minus 16 at tsaka 8 divided by 8. This is 2, no? Tapos, meron na rin A squared. Meron na rin B. So, matitira na lang dito is Y squared. And then, minus... Anong common sa kanila? Sa number, 6 tsaka 12, syempre, lalabas natin yung 6. And then dito, x cubed. Meron x cubed. Pwede ilabas yung x cubed. No? And then, wala na. Kasi wala na yung y squared sa kabila. Maging b squared minus 12 divided by 6. No? So, 2. And then, x cubed tsaka x cubed. Meron na. So, y squared na lang natira. And again, pwede natin i-represent to as z, for example, yung b minus 2y. This becomes z. And pwede natin gawin dito, sa taas. Pwede natin siya i-represent as 8a squared b times z again minus 6x cubed times z so that is equal to z we factor out z times the quantity 8a squared b minus 6x cubed and again balik natin yung z ang z natin ay b minus 2y squared or b squared minus 2y squared so, pwede natin sabihin b squared minus 2y squared times this one. 8a squared b minus 6x cubed. So, ang tanong ay final na ba yan? Well, mukhang final na pero meron pa tayong common factor dito yung 8 tsaka 6 natin. Pwede pa natin ilabas yan. So, b squared minus 2y squared times anong common sa 8 tsaka 6? We have 2, di ba? Times 8 divided by 2 is 4a squared b minus 3, 6 divided by 2 is 3x cubed. Okay, so what else? Usually nilalagay ito sa unahan, no? Pag may number na na nagsusolo lang siya, so b squared minus 2y squared times quantity. But this is already correct. So, 4a squared b minus 3x cubed. Okay? So, I think this is our final answer. Um, I hope hindi kayo na-overwhelm dito sa example natin, sa number 7. Ano? I think ang pinakamaganda nito is mag-practice kayo kung uh, gusto nyo ma-master itong mga skills na ito. No? So, 
mas marami kayo na factor mas uh, magiging madali sa inyong hanapin yung uh, mga factors, yung mga greatest common factors, no? both the numerical and the literal coefficients no? ng polynomials. So, uh, gusto ko yung bitahan sa sip9.com. Nandiyan yung ating mga videos, yung uh, mga list. No? And of course, uh, if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can just click the subscribe button. Ang daming videos yan, 200 plus na yan. Uh, as of this moment, no? as of this uh, upload, ay uh, sa 255 na yata. So, matatagdagan pa yan soon. Uh, maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.